Okay, there's been a new Denisovan find, and, uh, well, uh, not really a new Denisovan find, but more finds at the same Denisovan site. Uh, the title here is Amazing Discovery at Siberian Cave of Prehistoric Inhabitants with Greek Researchers, part of the team. And uh, so this just came out today. The cave findings shed light on an enigmatic extinct human species. Um, Denisovans are named after um, Denis, the monk that used to occupy the cave in ancient times, and it was well known where he had stayed at. People went up to investigate the cave, uh, went down through the dirt a little bit, found a human bone, things led one thing to it, led another, and now they find out that it's Denisovans. Denisovan is an ancient archaic species that is no longer living. It's extant, as they call it, and he or it, or the species itself, is part of the genome that actually adds up and makes up the southern part of India and the Aboriginal Australians and a lot of the islanders like Fiji and so on that have the darker toned skins that are in them, very copper toned skins. So let's look at this. It says, with its light filled main gallery and sweeping views of the Altai Mountains of the southern Russian area, Denisovan Cave was a Stone Age version of a Manhattan penthouse overlooking the Anui River where herds of animals came to drink. It offered an unparalleled vantage spot for spotting game and other humans, as well as a refuge from Siberian storms. Generations of Neanderthals, uh, their Denisovan cousins, and even modern humans enjoyed the view of this cave. And uh, here's a couple of the researchers. I'm not sure which one uh, is the Greek researcher or if they are all Greeks. It uh, just kind of points out to there. But uh, So here they are sifting through a layer down through the wall, almost like uh, a fireplace, but you're taking the fireplace out as a layer of dirt running down through the, the site. And uh, they found some pretty neat things here. Um, there's been a few conjectures about this. I'll just give you one myself here. It's a piece of a necklace, right? But it also kind of looks, I mean, it's strange. I, maybe I'm just doing that cloud thing, you know, and finding pictures. But it uh, looks like a little guppy fish kind of thing. And it's got a mouth right here and a little eyeish thing. And then the belly sticks down. It's thicker where the jaw is and it gets flat. And then uh, it even looks like somebody put a little Nemo fin on the thing right there with scratches. And uh, is this like an early 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 fishing lure in some way i mean this doesn't look too much different than a fishing lure we'd use today but you'd have a little hook up here so it wobbled in the water and looked like a wounded fish but kind of neat except for this is made out of mammoth ivory from way back when but when did each group reside there in timelines denisovans neanderthals modern humans so on the timing could yield clues on how these diverse humans interacted and shed new light on the most enigmatic of the three, or unknown of the three, the Denisovans, who are known only from DNA, scrappy fossils from the cave, and so on. The Denisovan human fossils and artifacts have been notoriously difficult to date because of the complex layering of sediments in its three chambers. Now two teams have combined the state-of-art dating methods to create a timeline of the cave's occupants. Here's another look in the cave that's not quite as down on them. You can see it's the same letter that's there. And uh, in the picture, you can see some of their workings and stuff. Bags, tools, some writing things. And that almost looks like a goat head over there on the side. Yep. But uh, here's some of the researchers. And I don't know if this is like the lead researcher and he's a Greek man or if this is all a Greek team or what's going on here. But... Uh, they just said Greeks, and then they haven't clarified yet. You'd think with a the title they'd clarify it, or it'd be something that would stand out. Uh, for all I know, Greeks weren't allowed into Russia until just recently for some silly reason, you know. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Nixon had a hard time getting into China, and he was one of the first that did that. So, And they still won't let researchers go there. But a neat-looking cave, when they talk about a penthouse, uh, you can tell it had been worked in primordial times. And then even worked more with Dennis uh, hollowing out the door sites and stuff. But it really looks like some Flintstones villa here. For the Denisovans, the results pro, uh, reported in Nature this week paint a portrait of endurance. They first moved in around 287,000 years ago, more than 100,000 years earlier than had been thought, and originally occupied a cave off and on 
through shifting climates until about 55,000 years ago. So this primordial last hominid uh, like would have been the thing before Cro-Magnons as far as for, you know, Caucasians and so on. It, uh, this, and it has a blend with Caucasians, of course, the India, the people of South India, but then it also uh, has uh, the Aborigines, and it, they're not a blend with Negroids either. They're a blend with something else. Uh, Negroids have their own uh, Neanderthal-type thing, and it's known as a ghost-type hominid species, and they have found that some of that contacts with Eurasians, but Eurasians that had not been tainted with the Neanderthal DNA at the point of the original interaction in the first place, if that makes any sense. And I think they're going to have to iron that out a little bit better for everybody, but pretty neat looking little cave you can tell here and you know it had like two entrances and an overlook and you can go through here and back out and back to the part that's here it's kind of a a neat little setup really the team checked its dates for the most recent layers against the radiocarbon dates that uh, geochronologist Tom Higgum and Katrina Duca at the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom determined from 50 new cut marked bone and charcoal samples I guess found trapped in a similar layer the Oxford team also developed a new statistical model that merges data from several dating methods as well as from genetic sequencing, which can reveal the rel relative ages of fossils. By evaluating the data and their range of errors, the model determines which dates are most reliable. There's a huge value in using multiple techniques, says Ed Rhodes of the University of Sheffield, who was not involved with the work, but apparently he's an expert. There were, Resulting dates, he adds, are, are fully convincing, he described them as. Here's that picture again. Kind of neat. See a layering, double fall in, pit set cave. Real neat. Here's a bigger look of the whole thing, and they're talking to each other about it as they've dug out this whole pit area. And you can see how they're going down through the scape here, finding things that they didn't find when they had dug down through here even before and it's just the second part of the dig. The oldest stone tools in the cave date back to at least 287,000 years according to the optical methods. These so-called middle paleo paleolithic tools look subtly different from those associated with Neanderthals and other caves in Siberia, suggesting that they are the first artifacts ever linked to the Denisovans. Direct evidence of Denisovans and so-called environmental DNA found in the sediments also appears a bit before DNA from the Neanderthals who occupied the cave on and off from about 193 to 97,000 years ago and weren't seen there uh, but back over in Europe more and not through there and if people would timeline these things with the ice ages that had happened and you can tell people migrate down to the center band more and then swell back out in between each one of the ice ages so kind of interesting here and i kind of like the weird picture there of the cave i'd like to check it out it seems like it's a little bit more extensive than it even looks from the outside so apparently it was you know yeah some kind of pen, penthouse view from the older days but uh another good find here and uh denisovans so slowly but surely it all unravels and a veil is lifting like, share, and subscribe, guys. Peace.